Hi, I'm Sandy Clements, and today we're going to look at the Xyron Create and Cut workspace. This is what the workspace looks like when you first load the software. The large white area is our design area. The area within the black line is the canvas area. The canvas area reflects the area that you have determined as the page size that you're going to be using. Along the top, we have our standard toolbar. Along the upper left-hand side is the main toolbar. Below that, we have our zoom levels. Now, when you first load the workspace, you see in the button bars that several items are grayed back and not usable. That's simply because there's nothing on the workspace. So by adding something, you'll notice that most of the options have now lit up. And those are the options that are lit up that are now usable. Okay, um, along the bottom here is our color palette. And below that is the status bar that shows where your mouse cursor is within the design area. Over to the right hand side, we have our default color settings. We also have scroll bars along the bottom and the right hand side, which will move you around the workspace. The, on, when the software loads, the design central menu opens up and the fill stroke editor opens up usually below it. The, if you do not see these, the buttons for them are located on the top in the standard toolbar. Above the standard toolbar are our drop-down menus. By simply clicking, you'll see all the options in those menus. And that's the Xyron workspace.